Hello, Williams County students and families. I'm David Aylett, Fine Arts Director. And I'm Darren Joins, Athletic Director. We're happy to share that beginning June the 1st, we'll begin holding small group academic meetings, as well as small group athletic and fine arts practices on our campuses. But we need your help. We will only be able to continue if we all follow some strict guidelines. Here's what you need to know. First, students and parents do not come on campus if you answer yes to any of the following questions. Have you been in close contact with a person with a confirmed diagnosis of COVID-19? Have you had an unusual cough or shortness of breath? Have you had a sore throat or any other flu-like symptoms? Have you had a fever of 100 degrees or greater in the past 72 hours? Have you had a loss of taste or smell? Have you had vomiting or diarrhea in the last 24 hours? If the answer is yes to any of these questions, please don't come on campus. Call your coach or director to let them know you won't be at practice. And parents, consider contacting your health care provider. Remember, we need your help to make sure practices are safe for your team members. When you get to campus, there will only be one entrance into the building. You will need to have a mask or a face covering, and that goes for anyone who will be on campus. And students, every time you arrive, you'll go through a screening checkpoint. At the checkpoint, you'll be asked the same questions we just talked about, and your temperature will be taken with a touchless thermometer. If you answer yes to any of the questions or your temperature is 100 degrees or higher, you won't be able to practice and we will contact your parents' guardians. Parents and students are not allowed in a practice zone without going through the screening. So students, let's say you pass the screening. There'll be other expectations for you while you're on campus. You need to wear a face mask if you're within six feet of one another. If you're inside the building, wear your mask unless instructed or allowed to remove it by your coach or director. You need to bring your own water bottles or jugs, no sharing allowed. And water fountains are only to be used for carefully refilling your water bottle. You're not to drink out of the fountain. Hand washing stations will be provided with access to soap and water and hand sanitizer for before, during, and after activities. If you have your own hand sanitizer, bring it for your own use. You will be working in groups of 10 or fewer and must maintain a distance of six feet apart. For you band kids, that's 3.2 steps. And for football players, that's two yards. We will have marks on the floor anywhere a line may form. Don't touch equipment unless you know it has been sanitized. We will sanitize equipment and facilities daily and before it is shared with another individual. We will continue to update our plans based on guidance from the CDC, as well as state and local health authorities, and your coaches, directors, or administrators will communicate that information to you as needed. Remember, it's important that we all follow these guidelines and work together to keep each other safe. Your coaches and directors will be there to guide you. We both are looking forward to seeing our athletes on the fields and courts. And watching our artists on the field and on stage. So let's have a crowd go wild. Winning season kind of year. The more we play safe, the, the sooner, sooner we, we can, can get, get back playing. playing.